Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily to do your personal or family devotion. Let it be the first thing you do when you wake up. You may even set your alarm to wake you up on time. Welcome also to Saturday, the ninth day in November. This weekend will not just be another weekend but a special one for you and your family. As usual, open your hand and your heart to receive today's prayers and be responding with Amen. I receive it. God will make good things happen for you this day. Your helpers will not know rest until they have helped you. Your debtors will look their peace until they pay you what they owe you. Whoever is denying you access to what belongs to you, sitting on your things, Holding on to your property, ah, they will not know rest until they release what is yours to you. When King Pharaoh abducted Sarah, Abraham's wife, to be made a wife that night, God rendered him impotent. He became restless, sleepless, and was afflicted. Following day, in a hurry, he dropped Sarah back to her husband, Abraham. God of Abraham is also your own God and my own God. May everyone holding what belongs to you, contending your space, your work, your property, your husband, your wife, receive that same divine judgment. No sleep, no rest, no peace, till they hand over back to you what belongs to you. Who is this? Someone is coming to confess their atrocities against you and ask for forgiveness. Yes, they will regret stressing you in Jesus' name. Then who is this? With evil marks on you. Evil marks. You go about with evil marks. Invisible though. But they are real and they are working against your interests. For instance, life is hard for you. Things always go wrong. No helper. No support. No patronage. You are living but you are not happy. Evil marks in place. Evil marks on you. And any of your children. Your spouse. Whatever is working against you, we see today. Evil marks on you. Things work for others, but when you get there, it becomes difficult. You suffer attack, opposition, contention. You suffer losses. If any of these describe you, put your two hands on your chest. I want to pray for you. And when next you take your bath, add the blessed water and a drop of oil on the bucket containing your water. Take your bath with it for the next three days. You will be totally cleansed up. I speak over your life and your body. The evil marks on you is hereby supernaturally removed. By the blood of Jesus, that invisible mark, attracting evil to you, diverting good things away from you, ends today. From today, the blood of Jesus marks you out for progress and for favor, for help and assistance in Jesus' name. Listeners, if you are sick, lay hand on that part of your body or lay your anointed mantle if it's available. Let me pray. I prophesy, be healed. Be healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. By faith, confess your healing. Say, I am healed. Say again, I am healed. I am delivered. Yes, you are. Someone is listening to me now. You don't sleep well at night. Yes, it's a struggle. Your night is disturbed. The night is meant for restfulness, peaceful night rest. But you don't enjoy your night. In fact, when night is approaching, you are afraid because so much of evil dreams, horrifying nightmares, you have pains in your body in the night, frequent urination at night, you have mucus dropping on your throat, choking you, making it difficult for you to sleep at night. I'm hearing. Pray for those with disturbed night sleep. If that is you or any of your loved ones, stand in the gap for them as I pray. Lay your right hand on your forehead gently from today. Be delivered. I say be delivered from all disturbances at night. Be completely delivered in the name of Jesus. From mucus dropping on you, frequent urination, choked throat, Whatever is disturbing you at night, you are totally set free in Jesus' name. Please anoint yourself as you go to bed each night. Sing a chorus or a hymn 
of worship to fall asleep. Put your mantra on yourself. Sleep well without disturbance again from now on. Say amen. November 9th, celebrant. Fold your hand on your chest and let me pray for you. Your birthday is blessed. Your new age is blessed. You will celebrate November 9th yearly in good health, in prosperity, and in power. In Jesus' name. Happy birthday. Listeners, let's run. First issues for teaching and counseling today. Good day, Daddy, and my esteemed TPJ family. I like that greeting. This problem is causing me sleepless night. When our parents died several years ago, I brought our last born, still in SS uh, secondary school, to then to live with me and my four children in Lagos, raised and educated him. Now a rich lawyer, married with kids, but did not look back. I have adopted his parents-in-law and taken good care of their responsibilities, including car and driver. He hardly call nor visit, and he gives me gift of water and minerals only at Christmas. I want to reject his gift this year, but my children said no. I can no longer pretend that I am happy with him. Daddy, SOS, God bless you. Wow, Daddy, SOS. I can feel your pains, but that is the reality of life. Siblings you held up will hardly remember how much you labored on them when they finally got up, get up. Only an insignific- insignificant few do remember. Even those that are not one sibling also. That is life. The young man took your labor on him for granted. Most Nigerians have this entitlement mentality. He probably feel or think you owe him all that you have done. You owe him that responsibility as his big sister after the demise of your parents. What to do? Overlook it. God has blessed you and will continue to bless you. When next he brings his water and minerals, call him aside and express your feelings without raising your voice or showing anger. That way it will clear off your mind. Whatever his explanation or defense may be, just take it and move on. Still be nice to him. Whatever we do for people, we should consider it done for God. God is the rewarder. Next, my question is, is it okay for a pastor to visit one of his members and stay there for up to three hours, leaving his wife at home? Wow, certainly not. It appears to me this is a complaint from a pastor's wife. Why not find a good time and engage pastor in a deep conversation over this? It means he is not very busy. How can I now, a pastor, go and spend three hours in a member's home when the member is not an, on an emergency? Even if he is, there are elders and other leaders in the church to help pastor in such a situation. I hope the members in question are not ladies. He might be setting himself up for crisis and calamity if they are, God forbid. Look, some of the so-called pastors need a father figure over them for mentoring, for discipline, and for rebuke. Next, good morning, Daddy. My question is on celebrating a loved one's death. Some denominations are against it. Again, please explain Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 3. Wow, I have checked Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse, verse 3. My take is that one should give his or her departed loved ones, especially our parents or our spouses, a decent barrier when they pass. But celebrating their remembrances yearly with cooking and eating and party is surely wrong. We should build on their legacies to keep their memories on or keep their memories alive. Next, good morning, Daddy. And TPGF, I got engaged to my boyfriend over seven years ago. He has not been in the country for five years. Recently, he he relocated back to Nigeria and asked that we got married. I agreed and asked that he he knows everyone in my family, but I only know his younger brother and friends. Anytime I ask that we both go and visit his family, he always finds a way to avoid the subject. And when I ask, are you running away from your parents? He tells me, Wisdom is profitable to direct. I don't know what else to do. How can I marry someone 
who is not comfortable with me meeting his parents. Wow. I lend my voice to that question also. How? Marriage in our tradition and culture is the marriage of the two families, his and hers. There must be something this man is hiding away from you. Then you say seven years or five years of relationship. Ah, no, that is too long in a relationship. You are a lady. You have allowed this man to waste your time. Should you walk away from your life today? Where are you going to start from? Who else will readily come to you? Haven't tied himself to you for this long. This is how many ladies allow their own times to be wasted. I repeat here again to all daughters on this line and all parents send this to your daughters. All daughters of marriageable age from 23, 24, 25 and so on. Dating or courtship should not be longer than a year, maximum a year and a half. Let no unserious guy hang around you for too long. He will uh, make it difficult for you to get someone else when he dumps you. Please, all ladies, all daughters, wise up. Am I too frank? Well, I hope not. Please rebroadcast this to all of your contact. Do so daily. Parents, send this to your sons and daughters. Get them to register directly to our link. Prepare your communion element ready for blessings. Go to your YouTube and on phone. Open and subscribe to our YouTube so I can see your portrait, your picture, and um, from time to time prophesy directly to your life on my screen. It is such a powerful spiritual exercise. Open your YouTube and simply type at the real family Emmanuel. Subscribe and turn on notification. Do so now. Today is a good day to transmit your tight, personal, and corporate tithing, your battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment, and the 11, 11, 11 seed we are sowing this month. Many have done theirs. Do yours. The Lord will bless you. Now, take the communion and let me pray over it. I pray over that communion. I prophesy healing. I prophesy lifting. I prophesy divine covering. Whatever you attach to this communion, you will exercise dominion in that area. The Lord bless you. Whatever cannot conquer Jesus' blood will not conquer you. Arrows of the enemy will be fire back to the sender. Go out in peace and return in joy every day. In Jesus' name. Please pray more on your own, on the communion. And when you are done, eat and drink. The power of God starts to work immediately. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly really blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day.